picked by that many teams. And this team is currently sitting on top of their group. They have, what, five wins, I believe, and zero losses? Yep. Currently, uh, five wins in one game and two full series wins. So they are on their way to a third, and everyone is trying to figure out their secrets, as this is the big one. Big old one indeed, and obviously wanting to make sure that whatever team it is, that you make it into the uh, upper bracket would just be an absolute huge win for these squads. Um, early movements out to place down a couple of wards. Um, if you're a team like VP at this point, I mean, how worried are you? That, that last game felt like it just was, it, it was so in hand, and then they were able to pull it back in. They took a long time to get back into the lobby as well. Is, is that something where you feel like they might be a little bit tilted this time around? No. No? Okay. There's, their conf confidence is good in that sort of way. It's like, uh, we lost because we could have done better. It's not like we lost because we're worse than them. That's that's not going to be their mentality. I highly doubt that. Right. Confidence is good to bring you through troubled times, but only if it's well-founded confidence. And I think VP's confidence is well-founded. Solo finds in flame. So now they know that it's an aggro lane. And Lich is going to be aggroed against the anti-mage. So... Last last game you asked, where is this list going to go? What is he going to do? And you always want to see what he's going to be up against. And when you see an anti-mage, that's, I would say, pretty much the only hero they need to keep down. DK is going to get his farm anyways. Centaur can just jungle if he really needs to. And AM is the one that can only lane at the start. He cannot go into the jungle, and he's not resilient. A resilient hero is like DK, who can just you know, chill with Dragon Blood, Bottle Crow, and he can absorb a lot of pressure. Uh, but Anti-Mage is not good at doing that. Un not until he gets Battle Fury. Once he gets Battle Fury, he can farm anywhere on the map. But before that, he is a puny, puny Anti-Mage who is getting his range creep denied right now. I, I mean, the way I'm looking at this, you're going to have this lane, which is just sort of almost inherently lost because the Lich is going to be dying experience, unless you find a ton of kills. And then mid, Razor versus DK. I mean, not a great matchup for sure. It, it seems like they're almost set up to lose two lanes at the start. What I mean, do they just need to find a ton of kills down bottom here? Who, LFY? They're no, set no, no, no. Uh, Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro? I would say top lane's not bad. Puck okay. actually struggles a lot versus Return uh, in that one-on-one -on -one matchup, so I think that lane is per perfectly fine for Pacha. He should probably get slightly ahead of him in CS. I would say it's like maybe 10% edge to... Uh, <laughs> edge to Centaur. <laughs> um, I mean, Lich is going to win his lane, so that, yeah. that bottom lane should be won. Well, and CK is very tanky. Like I don't really think you can jump, but you can jump the Lich here. But uh, yeah, I think they're fine. Mid's a wash, tops close enough to a wash, and bottoms a bottoms a win. That's yeah, at least break even. All right. Well, I, I'm I'm really concerned for VP here. I, I feel like it could be tough. We'll have to see if they're able to play it out. The creep wave is going to be pushing back underneath now, and some pings going. They wanted to go into DC, but just outside of range. And well, he actually was able to get the animation for the disruption off, but doesn't quite find it. Now will separate from the rest of them. They need a pull, but their small pull cam is blocked, which is very troublesome. And they did not expect the aggro tribe. They expected the aggro tribe. They would have brought a sentry. Well, oh, actually, Solo does have a sentry. He just hasn't placed it. I guess they're just worried about him perhaps jumping Ramses, and um, Ramses is really low on level right now. Look at his levels. His creep wave is already dead too, so like he's these guys are already level two on LFY side. You can already see the impacts of the Lich. Afu going to steal this two-minute bounty room to do some even more economic damage. But there is a double stack for Virtus Pro. Yeah, I mean that's something, and they're going to be able to get that pull off like you're talking about. Um, it still is a very big experience disparity, and Solo could be in some trouble. They're able to find him, pull him back in. Oh, good play there to get the disruption off. That will keep him alive. And they have bought a stick on Solo, so that should be good. How are the other lanes doing? Looks like Razor slightly edging on DK. Expected. Puck is actually doing very well versus the Centaur. That's a little surprising. Oh, he did go for the Oove build. Yeah, in fact. Centaur actually ended up taking Hoof Stomp first, so he didn't have return until a little bit later as DDC finds the kill on to Lil. Lordy, lordy. This this could be a little bit rough. For your camera work? For the... I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get your pen. Get taken. I, I missed it too, so I knew you missed it. <laughs> it's like, okay, you're like, what? What, what just happened? Oh my uh, goodness. They're, they're getting a pull off though. Oh, no, they did not. Trying to go in yet again. They have that damage amp trying to bring down and kill off that 
poor old Lich, and DDC ends up paying for his earlier kill. And sacrifices off cooldown. No! Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, that's not as bad as Santa Midas, but similar feeling. I guess that shows that you have to respect the the damage that can come out with the amp and torrent and everything else. Well, he was just caught out of the world, so. Yeah. This pull is hugely contested. Oh, solo. Oh, there you go. Yet again, Afu is actually going to be able to turn his back around. Ramsey's almost dead. He's oh. going to end up getting killed by the neutral. That's like almost worse. <laughs> oh. Because he wasn't prepared for the death. So he didn't buy before he died. And it's a longer cooldown, long too. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, it was like there's so many creeps running around down here, and there's just one troll was like, no, you in particular are That's going to That's prime pay. Echo Slam target. Actually, it's only a three stack. If it were more four stack, I think you can Echo Slam. That's Echo Slam territory right there. Maybe by the time he's level six, it will be Echo Slam territory. Yeah. Or they have, to they have the Kunkka. Maybe it's infinite stacking. Hey. Oh, if they've been working on that, that'd be pretty cool. We'll have to keep our eye on it. See if they do that at all. Afu going in for the block. Oh, man. And no one, just nowhere left to go. 110 damage stolen. Can they actually bring down the Dragonite? Need to go for some body blocks, possibly. And the well, Enchant Totem, the damage is going to be there. And Super finds a kill. Lane's not going in VP's favor. Yeah, you were worried about LFY's lanes, dude? No, I was saying that VP were set up to lose two lanes. Oh, yeah, but... You're expected to lose or Slitch. It's okay, they have anti mage, right? <laughs> you you don't expect to win the early game for Slitch. That's just that's just a thing. In yeah. Canada. That's the, what the hero is like best at. And then after that you're just a frost armor bot. Yeah, he's a uh... one one thing I will say about Lich is I actually think it's a really good hero for a captain of the team. I think that's a very underrated value where I don't want to say he's like a brain dead hero, but he's definitely like a lower skill cap hero. So, because you don't, like, you can just. Oh. Yeah, well, speaking of lower skill cap, it's so low in a lot of trouble. He, he's going to end up dropping yet again. And Ramsey's, I mean, he's trying to do whatever he can, but Afu is just going to walk away yet again. Yeah, back to finish my earlier thought. Like, he is. You can kind of autopilot Lich. Like, there's not that much you need to do. You deny range creeps, you frost armor important heroes, and you cast your frost blast whenever you can. So that means you can devote, oh. like, 70% of your mental capacity to capturing your team, telling them what to do, where to place your wards, where to smoke. And often, I think the movements will be crisper when you when you are playing a Lich as a captain. I think it actually has a lot of merit. For sure. Well, and you just saw a solo kill up there, and Flame takes down the Centaur War Runner and, and Super is just diving. No one, they don't care. It's the Haste from Afu and they finish it off as well. There no rotations, there's no reactions, there's no nothing. VP is just, they're getting ran at, they're getting VP'd. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. I, the, the thing I'm most surprised about is that Ninflame's able to solo kill Centaur. He, look at his items, he has Bottle, Ooh, that looks like someone who's in Shrug City. Yeah, and a Magic Stick. Killing spree at this point, six minutes in, six to one. I don't even know what you do at this point. Like, I guess hold out for the AM, but like, who are you going to rotate to make stuff happen? You wait for Lich to kind of fall off in effect. I think that's what you needed. To. Like, right now, denying range creeps is like incredibly difficult to deal with, and he just denied a, a siege creep too. So Ramses, his CS is actually still pretty good despite getting constantly sacrificed in his lane, and sooner or later. Usually, like, I would say 10, 10, 11 minutes or so, maybe even sometimes earlier. Like, the laning phrase breaks down and there's a lot more ganks that are happening, so Lich can't actually permanent deny creeps. And then after that, AM will get pressure relief because they, they uh, LFI will feel the pressure to take down objectives, deal with the DK, pushing their towers with dragon form. Yeah. And look at that. The scan catches yep. out the movement from Shadow Demon as well as the... Kunkka, and I, I love the build from Kunkka. It's like what you have to do in this instance where you just focus on damage, but it relies upon Shadow Demon being able to find that initiation. Oh god, he's level two, and he's been sitting in lane. Yeah. And look at look at the opposing levels. Four, four, and five on DDC, Afu, and Monet, respectively. And then you have, what, level two, level three, and level four. So four, four, five versus two, three, four. It ain't good. The math doesn't add up. <laughs> Yeah, this that, is a problem. That's a liching to you. Jeez. Well, they have Stampede now. Maybe an opportunity here. They're going forward for this one, but the turnaround Fissure blocks it off. 
Solo and Loa here looking for that opening. They are going to find Afu and try and bring him down. The blink forward. They finally finish him off. A much needed kill. But that was four heroes committed. And in the meantime, Super is still just bullying out and going to take the mid tower. That is totally worth for Afu. And Puck is going to have great farm. He's up here alone. It's awesome. That's the life. Yeah, that was. Uh, this is a really hard game. Uh, okay. Super. I mean, he goes for the static link again on the solo, ramping up that damage. Afu is coming in yet again. They have the X, well, no torrent follow up, but they will catch the fissure onto Centaur. He just gets eaten up. Also, he does have plus two hundred and seventeen damage on Razor. Man, that rapier Ramsey's. right there. Oh my God! Look at Ramsey. He almost got three shot. Super does not care, and if he manages to catch back up to him again, they're they're trying to get that angle and see if they can find him off to the side. That does mean he gets out. Although, to what <gasps> end? Chicken? Oh, Hello? No. Chicken. <laughs> they know he's still in there. They have another plasma field and a couple, uh, and now they see the blink off towards the west side of the map. They're still looking for him, and just all of this bullying. And the whole time, there's like nobody mid farming. Yeah, because that tower's already down. That's the downside of losing your tower. And Super just takes one tower, moves on to the next, and he went for a hood first. Hood first is very good this game. Wow. Because the only physical damage that you really have is coming out from what? An armlet DK or a farmed anti mage. And the anti mage is not farmed, and DK is in poverty mode. Well, 10 minutes in, and it is a 4,000 net worth lead, as well as right around a 4,000 experience lead. They need to flame. slow LFI's game down. They need to, like, try and stall the objective taking. Uh, I don't know who they do it with, though. That was really good timing by Inflame. He got the jaunt away as the X was expiring, and with a little bit of help there, uh, gets away. Man, this is this is just an insane amount of farm. Yeah, they're hemorrhaging towers. Though. That's that's the worst part. AM's main two protective towers, the bottom T1 and the mid T1 are gone. So ancient stacks, not a thing anymore. Farming up those camps close to the bounties, not really a thing. EDC gets jumped by Ramses. Yeah, they're over here in the mid as well, trying to take down Inflame. It's not going to happen. They can't find that kill. They can't find anything. DDC, does he manage to escape? Trying to juke away. Run around the trees. Get out of there. He ends up getting denied by the neutrals. Oh, the smallest morsel of a comeback is not even going to be possible. No silver lining here. Yeah, combine that with neutrals killing Ramses earlier. This is worst enemy this game. <laughs> he didn't get that sweet revenge. Remember what we're talking about? Oh, what's sweeter than being able to kill a lich? He's denied you tons of range creeps. Yeah. It doesn't happen. He's left wanton. And Flame's building like a mid puck too. Treads, bottle, and fail. And Pasha, I think, is dead yet again. He had used Stampede just a little while ago to try and find the kills. It didn't happen. And now. They take him down. I mean, Super is just in the mid lane. No heroes on his team around him at all, and he is not worried about a thing. He hits a hood. Hood? Uh, okay, he did get a 15 agility. 15 agility is just way better. They really need to buff that move tell I think. Re regardless, yeah, he's... What damage did they have? Even if he's full soul catcher uh, By full, I mean, it's only level 2 right now, so 30%. Uh, yeah, even if he's soul catcher right now, I don't really think he cares. Yeah. That's and he has frost armor. So he has armor, he has HP, and he has... Actually, he doesn't have that much HP, but he has magic resistance. Almost as good as HP. Effective HP, baby. Um, yeah. And it's sort of the, the reason why we've seen Shadow Demon Kunkka fall off a long time ago, is you ran into damage issues. And that hero that you're talking about before, the Luna, uh, would be one of the answers, because then you could, you know, amp up the damage with the right clicks and stuff, but... Just not the case right now, and I guess the, the lane certainly didn't go the way that they wanted them to. The Luna is way worse versus the Racer, though, so you have yeah. to keep that in mind. It's, it would have been way better for them in the early game, but later into the game, you pretty much have to get a Pike, and you don't really want to have, have to get a Pike on the on the Luna. You just want to build, like, Lance and dam like Manta, Butterfly. You just want straight damage items on her. Well, Smoke Maneuver onto the bottom. Hello, AM. Where are you going to blink to, buddy? Yeah, they've got a lot of them. Monet, can he get his way out of here? He does have his ultimate. Thinking about going for this. They stampede. He is going to pop it. The rest of the team is coming in as well. Can they make this big opening? They're trying to find it. Monet not brought down the Chain Frost. They are going to start bouncing back and forth. They end up losing their carry, but maybe going to find more. All of VP crumbling around them. 
Echo Slam was used and didn't find the kill, but still a big win for LFY. That was a value chain for us. And that was a great fissure. Afu has consistently been nailing these difficult to hit fissures that should only hit one or two, but instead hits two or three. And he almost has blink, so Am's timeline is getting uh he, he's, he's so poor. Yeah. Get lich, dude. Yeah. I bet DDC is so satisfied with that. He's like, yeah, I, I did this. <laughs> I made your life miserable, Ramses, and I'm loving it. Because position fights don't get to do that to position ones very often. Yeah. That's definitely true. And you see right there as well the potential solo trying to D ward, but was just not going to happen. And there's really nothing stopping the rest of LFY. It's really interesting too that you know you talked about shutting down those farms that allow somebody or can't towers that allow somebody to farm safely, and they're constantly making sure that they take the tier twos as opposed to farming out and taking down the yeah. tier ones top. They are like, have, has anyone hit a neutral yet this game aside from Huck? Not really. Uh, also, another thing that I think is important for VP right now is to switch jungles. This is a very common move when you lose your towers on bottom. You you play around the top side of the map as Radiant. You are the opponent's jungle and you just give up your own. There's no way they can control their own jungle right now. It's heavily infested with Observer Wars and there's no towers down. And top, you still have that shrine too, so even if that T1 falls, there still is that Bastion of Hope. Oh man, and the Torn X is off the mark because he ended up getting stunned, so Lil is going to drop yet again. Boat is now down. Uh, from bad to worse down. to terrible. Yeah, they, were, they were trying to do the shift, and now Ramsey's like, Oh, no, I'm out of here, buddy. I am out. And it's not just, like, even him not dying isn't the, the thing that's even worst about it. It's like, it, oh, they're setting up for Pasha on bottom. And Flint does have a Blink Dagger. They want to catch, it, catch him out. Well, he still has that hood. But unfortunately, the silence comes out. They're able to Dream Coil. It's only a one-second stun, but it'll be more than enough. In wow. flame dominating. He has no armor on Centaur. Oh. Also top lane. Super is killing everybody in the world. Uh, he took down AM as well as the Shadow Demon. Okay. <laughs> and GG is called. 15 minutes. Predictions eat your heart out. I got my 15 to 20 minute one. Yeah. Oof. Good thing it wasn't pre fired 15. Man, that was just a, a walloping. Like, we talked about it, you know, as soon as the lanes came out, they were set up to be in some trouble and it ended up just completely falling apart. Um, the aggro try is, I think, what it won them to. Like, putting Puck safe lane versus, versus the Centaur, which turned out way better than I expected, and then bottom lane just, oh, oh man, Lich. Ugh. Yeah. It was like, it was what, 4 4 5 versus 2 3 4. So it was like, what, six level difference early on into the game? Is that right, Matt? Yeah. It, it was It was it's roughly around that. Well, that's going to do it. <laughs> game number two, in very short order, done. LFY continuing the dominating streak against what many consider to be the favorite. Watch out for this team. They are going to be doing a big old thing on the yep. well, main stage, most likely. We're going to be watching to see. I, I They're the only undefeated team, I think, along with LGD. So both LGDs are still undefeated right now. 3-0-0, zero, and zero, so six total wins. That's great. And VP will fall further in the standings in Group B. I don't. I mean, at this point, you have to consider whether or not Virtus Pro might not make upper bracket. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. I mean, there's other.